What's up everybody? Today's a video about a 1994 Ford Conline van I bought for 800 bucks a few months ago from a homeless man who lived in it for two years with his girlfriend and two dogs. I bought it to fix it up and see how much money I can make from as little effort as possible. It was so cheap that I knew that even if I just fixed some things and cleaned it up and took better pictures of it for Facebook Marketplace that I could make upwards of one, two, three thousand dollars. So I bought it. This thing is absolutely disgusting. I have a sore throat with all the smoke fumes. Not from the engine, but the engine is right there and it is quite loud. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a better tour when we get home. Drives like a dream, not gonna lie. Um, there is an a ABS light on and an airbag light on on the dash. Power steering is butter smooth, and the seat, although it is caked with kitty litter and smoke ashes, um, it's very comfortable, so. What do you think, Bert? Bert, what do you think, Bert? Bert likes it. I mean, body-wise, Shorty's clean and mean. Just doing some shots of the interior just to show you how grime it is. I mean, the floor is literally caked in mud. This is just disgusting, this seat here. None of the doors open besides obviously the two cabin doors. I'm just gonna pretty much rip every single thing out and then put a couple things back basically. I mean, look how grimy that is. That's where I've been sitting for the past hour. So I'm taking the starter out, this is the old one. Out with the old, in with the new. Got the seats out. Disgusting. I'm gonna try to pull all this shit out of here so I can get that out of there. The van still doesn't run on its own yet. Obviously, it runs great and it drives great, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't like start on its own. It's not a starter issue. I replaced that. It's not a, a starter relay issue. I replaced that too. I don't really know what else to do besides those things. I've looked through the fuses, not super thoroughly, but I'm really kind of at a loss as far as mechanically. Um, how to fix it, but I know that it runs so I don't really care that much So for now, I'm just gonna kind of do all the cleaning and all the cosmetic stuff that I need to do I need to take that seat out and like with these big plates that were for the other seats Take those out and just clean 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 rip I want to rip the entire interior out literally everything on the inside out also, those doors don't open and the back doors don't open. So it's going to be kind of interesting to be able to get all the shit out of here without opening doors. But first things first, I got to put back together the dash because I thought it might have been the starter switch, but it's not. So while I have you here in this time lapse, I was going to tell you, um, yeah, this van's pretty, pretty messed up. But uh, at the end of the day, the body was super straight and it was and it ran and drove great. And it was not that old and it had low miles. I think it had 140,000 miles on it. So when you see those three things, you know, it's not that old, good miles, good engine, um, body straight. You're like, oh, it was fine. It was 800 bucks. How could I not, you know? Move the seat so we can pull all that out and then we can pull the rest of the carpets out. So much fun today. Rifling around all this garbage. So here's what it's looking like. I got all the siding out. The seats unbolted, unbolted, everything else is unbolted so the carpet is able to come up now. And then I'm going to start working on minimizing all the wires. So we got the whole interior shipped out. I definitely, I got this door panel kind of cleaned up. All this wire is stuff from the conversion um, that I'm just going to rip out because it's unnecessary. It starts on its own now. We just added a wire that goes to the relay um, that goes up into the ignition. Um, and it works now. So it starts good. Also, we figured out that the, the windshield wipers originally didn't work. The motor is right here. It's not right there right now. Um, it works, um, but the connection that goes from, this is the motor, this to this, that connection is bad. I need a little clip for it. I ordered it, it should be here in a couple days. So then I'll get that fixed. It will be super nice. Today, right now, I'm just gonna do a bunch of washy. I gotta wash this engine bay. Also clean the seats and this thing, how dirty this thing is. Just disgusting. We're back to work on the van, boys. Right now, I'm just working on, um, I'm gonna undercoat the, the front portion of the cab, just so I can feel good about putting the seats back in there, just cause I don't wanna put seats on just like a bare floor. So I like to clean it up, paint it, and in the back, I'm pretty much not doing much else besides fixing this door and that door, um, and cleaning it up, and then I'm gonna try to sell it.
that's all the clips I have of the entire van build. Actually, that's pretty terrible. I didn't film very much, but basically I started with just an absolutely destroyed, horribly lived in van. Didn't really start on its own. None of the cargo doors opened. The winter wipers didn't work. The radio didn't work. The AC blower didn't work. I put a blower in it. I got it to start on its own. I fixed all the doors, replaced handles. I detailed the whole thing. Literally ripped out the entire interior. Besides, I, I cleaned the, the seats really well and put them back in. And the whole dash was super clean. I never got the stereo to work. I didn't change the oil. And I didn't change the brakes, which I should have changed the brakes. But I was basically just trying to do as little as I could for as much profit as I could. I knew that I could replace the windshield. And it'd be worth like, you know, $150 more. But it's $150 to do the windshield, so I'm like, I don't really need to do that. I knew it wasn't going to some high, high. it wasn't going to be a high dollar product. It was going to be pretty much as much as I could get out of it. So I ended up selling it for um, $3,420, and I have had about 1000 into it. So the van was $800. I spent $20 for a solenoid that I didn't need, but I didn't return. $17 for that wiper, windshield wiper clip that made the system connect and work again. $56 on door latches, $67 on more door latches, the entire interior, all that stuff, I had to throw that away, so that was $25 a dump fee, $57 blower motor, $37 for AC connectors, which is, I, I deleted that part of the video, it was boring, so don't worry about that. Overall, I ended up having about $1,000 into it, and I bought brake pads, I just didn't install them, and I think I maybe even bought oil, and I just didn't do it, because I'm like, increased value, you know what I mean? Overall, I made, obviously, $2,400, and I probably spent around 10 or less hours on this van build. So it was incredibly successful in my opinion. I definitely thought I could have got more out of it when I bought it, but um, the market kind of went was going down as I was working on the project. So um, I'm really happy with the amount that I got out of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. We're getting really close to being monetized. I really want to start making money um, off this freaking channel. Um, so yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.